Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go. At para punoin ang ating semi-final slots. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have James. James is a proud Bulakenyo studying in UP Diliman under the program of BA Theater Arts. He enjoys watching theater plays and films. He loves to travel, listen to music, and dance during his free time. His favorite local Filipino band is Ben and Ben. Sunod naman, we have Maru. Maru is a student from SCA College studying hospitality and management. His hobbies are playing volleyball, watching K-dramas, anime, playing billiards and mobile games such as Mobile Legends and Call of Duty Mobile. One of his dreams is to have his own cafeteria and even become a chef someday. Sunod naman, we have Ju. Ju is a first-year BS statistics student in UP Diliman. She loves salted egg chips and happy lemon milk tea. She's also part of UP organization named Kapwa UP, which is dedicated to giving campus animals a good life and a forever home. And finally, we have Jessie. Jessie is a theater art student from UP Diliman. Her favorite pastimes are singing, dancing, and watching movies and K-dramas. She is a K-pop fan and her main stan is N hyphen. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, first round na. Kung saan correct answers are 10 points each, get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. In what month do we celebrate the Mascara Festival, the Lansones Festival, and Halloween? Ju. October. October is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Skipper is the younger sister, Midge is a friend, and Ken is the boyfriend of which famous fashion doll? Maru. Barbie. Barbie is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. The Hundred Years' War, which lasted 116 years, was fought between England and what other European country? The correct answer is France. Question number four. In quick math, what fraction in lowest terms is the reciprocal of 3.5? Correct answer is 2 over 7. Question number five. What is the most popular color of bubblegum according to the FLIR company? Choose. Pink. Pink is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In what continent can you find Turkmenistan and Tajikistan? Jesse. Asia. Asia is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What planet in the solar system is larger than Mercury but less massive than Venus? Jesse. Earth. Earth is wrong. Anyone can steal. Maru. Saturn. Saturn is wrong. Anyone can steal between James or Ju. The correct answer is Mars. Question number eight. Maki Tobias scored the lone goal in a 1-0 victory to give the UP team the 2024 UAAP Championship in what sport? The 
correct answer. Ina umabot, Maru. Sorry. The correct answer is football. Question number nine. What do you call a scene in a movie that goes back to events in the past or a sudden memory of a past event? James. Flashbacks. Flashbacks or flashback is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. The Broadway musical Evita, as well as the film starring Madonna, was about a famous woman from which South American country? Mexico. Mexico is wrong. Anyone can steal? Actually, may song ito at sa musical na to and the answer is Argentina. But don't try for me, Argentina. Question number 11. Complete the phrase meaning to annoy someone with the name of an animal. Get someone's blank. Correct answer is GOAT. Last question for this round, number 12. The Mughal dynasty ruled most of the northern part of which present-day country between the 16th and 18th centuries? China. China is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is India. And that's it for round number one. So after that round, we have Drew in the lead with 20 points, followed by James, Maru, and Jesse with 10 points each. So contestants, sa show na to, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala namin ang backgrounds ninyo bilang mga contestants. Ito ang kay Chica. Simulan natin kay James. So James, Katulad ka rin ba ng iba na kaya gusto ang Ben and Ben ay dahil sa hugot? Uh, yes po, and also kasi um, I also like how yung music nila is uh, somehow parang indie, ganun, and it's just chill. So parang uh, it's like the type of music that you'd like to listen uh, in your free time. So, so anong favorite Ben and Ben song? Uh, ben and Ben song, up. Uh, Probably yung ano, paninindigan kita, yung yung pa. <laughs> paninindigan kita. Thank you so much, James. Ito naman si Maru. Maru, kwentuhan mo naman kami tungkol sa dream mong maging chef at magkaroon ng sarili mong cafeteria. So, anong gag, anong na-envision mo dito sa cafeteria na to? Uh, about sa cafeteria po, kasi besides sa uh, Maru, mahilig po ako mag-drink ng coffee and uh, gusto ko pong malaman yung iba't ibang taste tas ilalagay ko sila sa isang cafeteria ko para all around po nang maghanap yung mga tao nandun lang sa shop. Okay. Looking forward dyan, Maru, and good luck sa iyong pangarap na magkaroon ng cafeteria. Maraming salamat, James and Maru. Mamaya naman babalikan natin si na Ju at Jesse para rin sikahin kayo. Pero ngayon, paghandaan muna natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng Kay Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points rika po na tayo. Drew is in the lead with 20 points. Followed by James, Maru, and Jesse with 10 points each. So ngayon tuloy na natin ang second part ng Kay Chica. Okay, so si Drew naman ang kausapin natin. So Drew, yung advocacy mo is close to our heart. Kasi syempre, itong kapwa UP, di ba? Yung naghahanap kayo ng forever home para sa mga pets natin. So kamusta itong ginagawa niyo sa organization ninyo? Um, uh, gladly, it's been very successful because we have given um, two cats forever homes and we have conducted a lot of rescue operations wherein um, some animals in the campus that needed medical assistance were successfully rehabilitated. And as well as we've conducted a grand pakain where we were able to feed a lot of these campus animals. So, may estimate pa kayo kung gano'ng karaming cats or, yeah, cats, mostly cats, no? For Diliman As well as dogs. And dogs as well. In may the campus. May estimate kayo ng ilang cats na nasa Diliman. Ay, there's Wala. too many Super to count. Many. Pinakamaraming, ka uh, college na may pinakamaraming cats, tingin mo? Um, I'm not sure because... Ako tingin ko music. Kasi mahilig sila sa sounds. Tulog sila lagi doon, tingnan mo. 
Ayan. So, thank you so much for doing that. At sana maraming mga students natin ang mag-adapt ng mga cats natin from the campus. Thank you so much, Ju. And sunod naman si Jesse na ang main stand daw is N hyphen. What's with N hyphen at super sino support mo sila? Um, Nag-start ako during pandemic kasi I never been a K-pop fan since pandemic. And then, um, siguro aside from visuals na anon ko din yung type of music nila na very contemporary and as uh, very uh, hype uh, high beat so i think yun yung pinaka gustuhan ko sa music nila so you look forward to watching them yes especially during concerts during concerts okay thank you so much Jesse for sharing that and now it's time for round 2 so contestants get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. Which member of the girl group Fifth Harmony recorded the hit Havana with rapper Young Thug? Ju. Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello or Camila Cabello is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In order to deter tourists, who litter and make so much noise, residents of a Japanese town erected a barrier to block the view of which mountain? James. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. While Impressionism emerged in the late 19th century, what school of art began early in the 20th century tried to express emotions rather than try to accurately represent how things appear. James. Expressionism. Expressionism. Expressionism is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What blend of two words do you call a fictional story in the style of a documentary movie like Sasha Baron Cohen's Borat? The correct answer is mockumentary. Question number five. Taken from the Latin for dug up, what term refers to the remains or impression of a prehistoric organism preserved in petrified form? Uh, the correct answer is fossil. Question number six. What land animal has a heart that weighs a massive 10 kilograms because it pumps the blood to the head of the five meter tall creature? Elephant. Elephant is wrong. James. Giraffe. Giraffe is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What company founded in 2019 with a capital of 650,000 pesos, was able to win contracts worth 11 billion pesos for face masks, face shields, and other medical supplies. The correct answer is Parmali. Laking issue to. Question number eight. In mathematics, what do you call the product of all positive integers less than or equal to a number represented by an exclamation mark? Factorial. Factorial is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which noted English playwright is known as the Bard of Avon? The correct answer is William Shakespeare. Question number 10. Which American politician drafted the Declaration of Independence in 1776 and became the third president of the United States in 1801? The correct answer is Thomas Jefferson. Question number 11. What is the title of the 2015 animated film which featured the characters 
joy, sadness, James, inside out. Let me proceed. Joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. The answer is inside out. Okay, check. Na merong part 2 ngayong 2024. Question number 12. Last question for this round. What is the common name of actors Ruffalo and Wahlberg as well as Facebook's Zuckerberg? James. Mark. Mark is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Let's do a scores recap. James is now leading with 110 points, followed by Ju with 50 points, and then we have Maru and Jesse with 10 points each. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. And welcome back to K-Check. Let's do a scores recap. James is in the lead with 110 points, followed by Ju with 50 points, at si Maru at Jesse naman with 10 points each. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Sana favorite subject niyo ang math. Which of the following is divisible by 3? A. 424 B. 442 C. 522 D. 535 or E-652? C-522 So, an integer is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So, among the given um, choices, the sum of the digits of 522 is 9, which is divisible by 3. So, the correct answer is C-522. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. What is the chronological order of presidential administrations from 1898 to 1946? A. Aguinaldo, Osmeña, Quezon, Laurel, Rojas. B. Aguinaldo, Osmeña, Quezon, Rojas, Laurel. C. Aguinaldo, Quezon, Laurel, Osmeña, Rojas. D. Aguinaldo, Quezon, Osmeña, Laurel, Rojas. E. Aguinaldo, Quezon, Osmeña, Rojas, Laurel. D. Aguinaldo, Quezon, Osmeña, Laurel, Rojas. Mali. Anyone can steal. Okay. Muntik na nakuha ni James. Nagkamali lang si James na pagpalit niya si Osmeña at si Laurel. Okay. So, Aguinaldo, 1898. Quezon, 1935. Laurel 1943, Osmeña 1944, then Rojas 1946. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Aguinaldo, Quezon, Laurel, Osmeña, Rojas. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question. Parang nabihag na interested din si yes. Ms. Sophie. Okay. In architecture, an arch is a curved vertical structure spanning an open space underneath it. What is a series of connected arches called? A. Facade B. Keystone C. Arcade D. Vault E. Post and Lintel A. 
Andun na eh, no? Um, a series of connected arches is called and it's not just a place for video games. It's called an arcade. Thank you. We're off to our second round. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Masabi ko lang, Sir Neil, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> Ordinary table salt is sodium chloride or NaCl, right? What is baking soda? Potassium, A. Potassium chloride B. Sodium carbonate B. Sodium carbonate Mali. Let me finish. C. Sodium bicarbonate D. Potassium carbonate or E. Magnesium silicate Uh, D. Potassium carbonate. Mali din. <laughs> C. Sodium bicarbonate. Okay, gusto ko ito. Nag they try to answer. Thank you. Ang um, potassium chloride is potassium salt. Sodium carbonate, malapit na, is washing soda. Potassium carbonate is white salt, which we see when the alkaline or alkaline batteries leak, yung puti doon. And magnesium silicate is talc, sa talcum powder. The correct answer is C, sodium bicarbonate. Okay, check. Thank you. So now leading na si Ju with 110 points. Okay, next question, Prof. Need. Yan, dami ko ring natutunan sa mga tanong ni Ma Marian. Okay. Wag lang yung math. Okay. Hanggang ngayon, hirap na hirap ako sa math eh. Asia Brewery, Eaton Properties, Philippine Airlines, and Philippine National Bank are owned by which Filipino-Chinese Taipan? A. Ramon Ang B. John Gokongwe C. Henry C. D. Lucio Tan E. George T. Mas mahaba pa dapat ang listahan. Ang dami niyang kumpanya. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Lucio Tan. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Um, the 1999 film, The Matrix, popularized the visual effect which allows the shot to progress in slow motion while the camera appears to move through the scene at normal speed what is this effect called a green screen b spinning camera c bullet time d gun fu e cyberpunk c bullet time <laughs> okay <clears throat> do you remember the rooftop scene in the Matrix, yeah, where Neo no, bends back and then everything goes in slow motion and rotates. That's bullet time. Okay, check. Thank you. So now, before we proceed to the next half, we're halfway done. So let's do a scores recap. First, Ju is in the lead with 140 points, followed by James with 80 points, Jesse with 10 points, and Maru with negative 5. But we still have our last two rounds, may 180 points pa kayong pwedeng makuha dito. So, good luck. Round 3, Prof. Marian. For 30 points, math ulit, If N is an odd number, which of the following is also odd? A. N minus 3 B. N plus 1 C. 2 times N D. N squared E N times N plus 1 Wala ngayon nag dare Sorry Neil, alam sagot Okay, so if N is odd Just remember the rules Odd plus odd is Even, right? And odd times odd is Odd also, even times odd is always even. 
Since n is odd, just think of any odd number. Tapos, test nyo lang dyan. Its square, that's n times n, is also odd. So, example, 5 is odd. 5 squared is 25. So, the correct answer here is D, n squared. Thank you. Prof. Neil? No. Tinanong ako kung kaya kong sagutin. Parang nose bleeding experience. Eh. Dapat talaga teacher ko si Ma Marian. Puro terror yung mga math teachers ko nung grade school. Eh. Okay. So, sino ang storyador na Pilipino? O Filipino historian ang nagpasikat ng linyang history from below? A. Chodoro Agoncillo B. Renato Constantino C. Reynaldo Eleto D. Ambeto Campo E. Rigorio Saide Baka kailangan pa niya magpasikat siya. Meron siyang seminal work in Philippine history. Ito yung passion of the Philippine Revolution. So, ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Reynaldo Eleto. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, your question please. The characters Julio Madiaga and Ligaya Paraiso are from what acclaimed film? A. Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag B. Inshang C. Gaano kadalas ang minsan D. Tinimbang, tinimbang ka ngunit kulang E. Babangon ako at dudurugin kita Um, dapat panurin nyo to ah. Um, ang correct answer ay A. Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag. Um, 1975, directed by Lino Broca. Thank you so much. Nagkaroon ng musical play parang years back about this. Yeah, hmm. ano to? It's right up there in Philippine film. Yes. Thank you so much, Prof. Sophie. So now we're off to our last round, 90 points left. Prof. Maria, go ahead. Ayaw nyo ng math? Physics naman. Okay. An elementary or fundamental particle is a subatomic particle that is not composed of other particles. Which of the following is not a fundamental particle? A. Quark B. Electron C. Hadron D. Lepton or E. Boson Ayaw din nila ng physics. Okay. Um, in the standard model, there are 17 distinct particles. Okay, and these are fermions, boson, tapos mga types nila. Protons and neutrons are subatomic particles which are not elementary. These are also called composite particles or hadron. So the correct answer here is C, hadron. Thank you. Last 60 points, Prof. Neil. Go ahead. Ayaw rin nila sa history, current events, and general information. So, babasagi niya yung perception na yan sa huli kong tanong. Sa anong lungsod sa Metro Manila, matatagpuan ang Metro Bank Tower, Grand Hyatt Manila, ang pinakamataas na gusali sa bansa? A. Makati B. Mandaluyong C. Manila D. Pasig E. Tagig James, E. Tagig Yan, so tama ako Okay, ang tamang sagot, letter E Tagig K check. Thank you. And now we're off to our last question for this show. Pag makasagot si James dito, meron tayong tiebreaker with Ju. So, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Um, a sign is anything that communicates a meaning that is not the sign itself. For example, traffic lights are signs that we interpret almost every day. The red light is not just a red light, but a signal to stop. 
What is the study of science called? A. Haptics B. Semiotics C. Optics D. Color theory E. Intuition James? Uh, B. Semiotics The study of science is called Semiotics Okay, check! Oh wow! Thank you so much! So dahil nasagot ni James, meron tayong tie between James and Drew at kailangan natin magtungo sa ating tiebreaker. At dahil nag-tie sina James at Drew, welcome to our tiebreaker round. Unang tamang sagot lang, yun na ang mananalo sa ating K-check for today. Let's begin! Which Italian artist painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in 1508? Okay. Correct answer is Michelangelo. Alam mo yun dapat. Okay. Question number two. Which metalloid has the chemical symbol B? Boron? Boron is correct. K-check. Congratulations, Drew. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Drew, our K-check Daily Winner. Thank you. Congratulations. And of course, palakbakan din natin si James. Sinatawagan natin pabalik si Maru and Jesse. Maraming salamat sa pagsali sa ating uh, episode for today. Palakbakan natin sila. At maraming salamat din sa members ng ating panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sofia. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! Woo!